Let's see what joyous fun we can get into today using just eight mods and building out small towns all over this beautiful map. Let's jump in and complete our very first town today. We are jumping right into your feedback and suggestions. Sasha wanted us to look at our pedestrian connectivity over the railroad. So we have this pedestrian connection there for bikes and pedestrians. We have this tunnel, but I'm realizing we didn't actually hook up a bike road. So we've got the bike road coming under the tunnel, but not on this side. So I think we need to connect into the bike network here. And I don't think it really makes sense to have that little tiny smidge of a bike road there. So we'll just change that. I think that works nice. So then our next pedestrian connection is all the way at the road down here. So Sasha was right, I do think we could sneak a little pedestrian bridge here. I think it would get highly utilized and we have the little extra space for it on either side here. So I think this will be the perfect spot to add in a little bridge across for pedestrians, uh, for walkers and cyclists. That was an absolute amazing suggestion and we can already see the citizens are loving this. So we essentially have two dedicated pedestrian paths, um, one that goes under and one that goes over the rail. And then we have our three road connections which can be used as well. So great idea. On to our next suggestion, Roman had mentioned to potentially be a little bit more selective in the industrial assets. And I completely agree. This is our non DLC town, our starter town, kind of more of that vanilla town. But when all these level up, they all just, they just don't look good. I really like kind of the brick building style, kind of like the old, um style industrial buildings which usually are level one level two and when these level up they just it just doesn't look pretty so i agree i think we should redo um some of these buildings mark them historical and just try to get more of a variety so it's not all this same few buildings that just don't really look great Again, thank you for another great suggestion. I think this looks a little bit better and I think it will suffice for our non-DLC vanilla type build. We've marked some of these historical and just the kind of old brick look I like much better. So I think that's an improvement. Okay, on to our peninsula. Now, you guys voted for a combination of some housing, a park, and we're going to do a community college. So moving the university asset onto the peninsula was actually Jenny's idea, which I thought was so great. And then I ended up putting it in the poll that you guys voted on. And I think doing a combination 
of the housing, doing a community college vanilla type non-DLC university build is going to be really fun and bring in some nice park space. I think this will just round out and help us complete this town so we can move on to our first official DLC town, which I'm so excited about. Okay, this inner road here is gonna be for the community college. I am gonna pull of the bike road with trees, a big surprise throughout this area so that you could bike around the campus. And I think having some really nice lush trees would ha just make this feel really differently. So let's go through and figure out what type of tree is really just gonna make this area feel a little bit different than the rest of our town. Okay, actually, I really like these trees that came with the map. So I think one of these is gonna be the winner. I really like this one. It's it's pretty, it's, it's a fairly tall tree, but I really like the coloring and it feels really different from the rest of the city, which I like. So I think it's gonna look and feel really good from that first person perspective. So that's what we're gonna go with. On the outside, we're just going to do our regular tree-lined street and we're definitely just going to go with our young lindens through this area. Okay, and I think this little gap here, we can put in some offices back here and then just bring in some more of the foliage and kind of fill in this little oddly shaped um, patch of land in between these two roads. And of course we have to have a little pedestrian path through here that would just make a lot of sense. here we can also bring in just a table or two somewhere to sit and have lunch I think that we've got all these offices here and I even think where we put this little pedestrian path in we could put a few more tables and maybe even a food truck that could be cute yeah I like that just a little place to grab a little bite to eat Let's make sure we put a little garbage can there. Very cute. Okay, we are looking good. Okay, then I want to think about our buses. So we've got the route that goes right past our community college. We should just grab this and bring it right in here. I think that's going to work out really nice. So I want waterfront houses all circling the outer side. Our community college is gonna be in the center and I'm just going to grab this little road and use the um, nodes markers that show up as dividers and just put all of these in. And then I'm gonna go around and use that as a guide to put in fencing and then I'm gonna delete the roads and then do zoning. This is kind of like an unconventional way to do it and there's probably easier ways to do this, but for me, it just helps me keep things neat and organized and I like to be able to use the, um, the grid when I'm laying down fencing like this. So having the road there to establish that grid for me is very helpful so this is a little trick you can do if you need to 
just for me, it helps me keep things straight and organized. So, all right, let me go fill all these in. We'll delete the roads and then we will add in some very selective zoning. And it was suggested in the comments, I, I apologize, I can't remember who, but someone had said like, I actually think it was on the poll, someone had commented like, this land value is like really valuable and we should definitely do like some high end mansions. And I agree, this is really valuable land. I think for this town, my vibe is pretty low key. And so I'm just kind of going with a more kind of historical home out here. It would still be pricey to live out here, but just kind of more of a um, older town feel. And then this map, there are so many waterfront op opportunities. We will definitely do, like I think someone else suggested a fishing village, which we definitely will be doing. And so there's gonna be lots of opportunities for different water type waterfront type builds on this map, which I'm so excited for. So don't worry, we will do all the different kinds. Okay, everything is marked historical, and I wanna think about some services. I think we have an opportunity on either side here to squeeze in a fire station and a police station, and I think that would make a lot of sense, um, especially since we're right near the industry area there. I think a firehouse there would be really smart, and we can tuck a little police station right back here. I think that's gonna work out perfectly for services for this area. I don't think we need anything beyond that. Okay, again, we are going to extend our town uh, park system. It's not a city park system because we're building town. So the park system for this town, um, we're gonna extend it out this way, which will be really fun because then we can add some park assets down here and you can see how it already just made everyone that much happier. And you can see we have a five star town. We can actually make this zero now. We are making good money. And that was the whole point of this starter non-DLC town. I know the whole point of the series is to build a town around either a content creator pack or a DLC, but we really did need this starter town to build up a good amount of income. That way when we go into the next town, we don't have a lot of limitations. We can just get right to building and creating. Now, right here at the end of the peninsula is gonna be a huge open park space. The one thing that we don't have in this town yet is a huge open field and open park space is so important to me. So we're gonna add that. Oh, this is another little thing I grabbed from the workshop is that little tiny power box. Some people would consider it cheating, but it is so handy when building just to be able to jump power when you need to. So right across from the back entrance to our community college, I'm gonna place down a park or two and potentially a dog park as well. I think having some parks and then having the rest of this just be a nice big open field I think is gonna be so great for the community.
Okay, I just did a little bit of detailing there, adding to the park. We will come back and finish that. Right now, I wanna jump in and start on our community college. I think for this community college, we will go ahead and do tennis courts. I wanna do them back to back like this. I love a repeated pattern design. And then we will end up with four tennis courts total. And I just think when you do it like this, it looks really nice. Yeah, and then we'll add two more and then we'll have the path going in between and up the middle as well. And it's just gonna give a really nice look to this. It's a great tip for beginner players. Do not be afraid to do repeated patterns with the same asset. Um, you would see that in real life and I think it's fine to instead of having one tennis court, you have a bunch of tennis courts. I've been to plenty of parks where there is, you, there's not just one tennis court, there's quite a few. So again, feel free as you are learning how to play this game, or maybe you're just here for some creative ideas, like repeated patterns are great. And you could repeat a pattern with just about any asset in the game you know there's endless creativity which is why i love this game so much okay we need to think about restrooms and a little bit of parking near our tennis courts and the back entrance of our community college We are off to a good little start here. I really like how this is starting to come together and become its own thing. I'm so excited to do this non-DLC community college university build. I think there's a lot of creativity to be had and there's a lot of different buildings that I want to do in this area that will we will name them so that way they make sense for the build you'll see but i have just again i love the endless creativity that is available to us in this game with a bit of imagination Okay, and on this side, we're just gonna put the medium mug cafe and that's gonna be like the campus coffee shop. A little detailing trick that I do is you grab your surface painter and you leave the brush size on single and then you can draw little pathways with it or create little seating areas like that, which I love to do. Okay, this is really starting to come together. Okay, I want to think about like staff offices for the um, community college. I actually think I'm gonna go with the house. So let's look for a low density four by four. Maybe like it was a house at one point and it's been repurposed. Oh, this would be perfect. And look, there's a little gate. This or like a cute little entrance into this house. Yeah, I actually think this would work really well for um, like offices for the community college. Um, and maybe it was a house at one point and, and now it's been repurposed into that. So I think that's gonna work out really well. Okay, let's go ahead and name this. Um, let's make this official. So this would be staff offices, perfect. Okay, now I wanna think of a dining hall and then we need like a student center, I think would be good for a community college. So we'll put that there. And then let's look for a low density 4x4 commercial. 
Ooh, maybe this one right here. And that actually kind of matches the vibe of the house that we have right here too. So I think that's gonna actually work out really well. So let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to call this the Student Center. And then we are gonna go ahead and make this, um, well, let's make this campus security. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Okay, that works. Okay, and then this is gonna be our dining hall, which I actually think is like the perfect building for that. Now, we've got kids playing outside of this building, so I don't think, even though the building looks like it could be like a research lab building, I think because we have kids playing in the yard, we have to get a little bit more creative. So maybe what this actually is, is an after school program that's available for um, like our elementary school and middle school age kids in the town. But the um, just kind of try to get really creative here. So this will be the after school program which will be for the kids, but the students at the community college, like that's part of like their vocational training or maybe volunteer work or things like that. So we'll, we'll say that's what that is. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get creative with stuff like this, but that's the fun part of the game. And I think these two buildings here actually worked out perfectly for our offices and our student center. So I'm really pleased with that. Okay, I think right here on the corner would make a lot of sense to bring in the little one by one ATM, um, little ATM building because every day, clearly the dining hall would be somewhere that you would frequent most days. And if you need to visit the ATM, it makes sense to have it right here accessible. And then I think we could bring in a little bit more detailing and just kind of make this part of our little community college feel a bit more complete. I think that turned out pretty darn cute. Okay, there's two buildings I want to bring in this area. Of course, we're gonna move over our large university building. That's gonna be really important. But this large high school building, it feels to me like a building that you would see in a community college campus. And so I think we're gonna need both buildings. So let me just get this in here. All right, now it is time to move over our existing university into our community college campus. We're just going to pull this right over. We're gonna make a lot of people happy and a lot of people unhappy. It's gonna be a mix. Now we've got this space here and we definitely have a large industry demand. So I think it makes sense just to bring in some offices into this area. Okay, I think we have all the buildings that we're gonna have in this area. So now it's just about bringing in the details and some extra park buildings just to really make this all feel like one place. I think having the chessboard over here makes a lot of sense. And then I think what we'll do is kind of just leave that as an open field area. I think that's going to really be helpful to have that open space for the students to throw a frisbee or the football or whatnot. 
Okay, next I want to bring in a bit more parking. I think there would definitely be much more parking than this at a, at a community college, but we are going to roll with three parking lots on either side of the plaza and then the parking that's already in the assets of the university and the high school. Okay, and then along this section here, I'm gonna bring in some fencing and we are gonna pull in some of the university um, housing on this back side, and then that would be our student housing for the area or possibly housing for staff. And I'll pull that um, all the way around on this side of the community college. Okay, so it's pretty popular. I had to take our 50 capacity bus on just this side of the bus route and put it to the 80. Um, there are a few um, bus stops on this particular side of our bus route that was just having a lot of queuing. So now we're just waiting for our new buses to arrive. So now we're getting even larger queuing. <laughs> and you'll see the little school buses in the background. I did put a little school bus route around the um, university campus, which I'll show you in a bit. But okay, here are these new buses that didn't make much of a dent at all. There's 10 of them and they have 80 capacity. So I think we'll be able to take care of everyone. They're just, they're taking their sweet old time getting over to our community call. <laughs> Look at all the people waiting. Okay, here comes another one. Yeah, here we go. The, this is working now. Now we're seeing the buses coming. There we go. Okay, okay. This makes me feel much better. This is gonna get cleared out. Happy days. Okay, so let me show you the little um, school bus I set up that people are using, which is great, but we know the school bus doesn't have large capacity, but I really wanna keep the little yellow school buses. I think they're so cute. And I know this is a community college, so it doesn't really have to be yellow school buses, but I think they're adorable. I think this will work out okay. Okay, let's get back to adding our student housing on this side. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little path back here and then a couple little commercial buildings. I would like to pull in, there's like a vanilla laundry mat that I'm thinking of. I just don't know if it's gonna fit here or not. We'll have to take a look and see what buildings we have or maybe something that we could call a laundry mat. I just think that would be great to have near student housing. So let's see what we can find here. So we're gonna go to find it. Ooh, this one. I think this actually, yeah, this will work for a laundromat. What else do we have? Yes, a burger joint, perfect. And then let's get one, another ATM here. Yeah, I think that would be perfect. Just a couple little commercial buildings to serve these students in this area.
Okay, and on this side, I'm gonna add in a touch more housing over here. Okay, and I wanna do some sort of little plaza here. This is kind of our entrance to the community college and also to this neighborhood as well. These are all too big. Let's see. Yeah, oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do a little path, little paths and some little trees or something and that could look really nice. Just very simple, easy detailing. Okay, I really like the feel of this campus. We just stuck with a couple of different trees there, did some little bush patterns. This coffee shop, you have so many students that could work there. Get it together, City Skylines. <laughs> I'm actually not a fan of these two apartment buildings right here. I think we're backing up to the waterfront. I think we need to go with something a bit more substantial. Let's look and see. Mm, that's too big. Mm, I'm not feeling that. Maybe. Oh, that's an idea. Let's do this. Now, that would be interesting. We haven't used any of the um, high density European. That could end up looking really nice. Let's just do a little like path here. If you were in this apartment building, you'd walk right out and enjoy that. I think that's nice. Yeah, I kind of like that. I really do. So, okay. Why don't we take this little area right here and make it high density European and do a mixture of office commercial and homes and kind of make this like this will be the little historic district of the town oh my gosh okay let's do this quick this episode's running a little long guys i'm sorry but uh we are we're, we're trying to complete this town today so bear with me uh while we uh, do up this area Okay, now comes the satisfying part. I mean, so many parts of this game are satisfying. <laughs> oh, I think this is gonna be cool to have this little old section of the town here, just a couple blocks. I think this is gonna look, end up looking really cute. forgot we have this now this doesn't need much I really do want this to be an open park space but we definitely need some trees around the paths that we do have and then I want to bring some things out on the um, tip of the peninsula to complete our park space so let me see what I can put together here
Okay, I think let's grab the fishing pier and let's bring this down here. I kind of like the idea of having these kind of on two different layers of height. So we're just going to use the move it and page down till we get this to a nice height and then we can pull over the path. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. So you come down on this side if you want to get to the fishing pier and then you can easily access the restaurant pier right from the road. I really like this. This looks really cute. All right, our first official town of Noobstown is complete. Of course, if you guys have suggestions after this episode, I'm happy to go back in and make changes or additions as needed. There was a couple recommendation for some traffic fixes of using some asymmetrical roads and moving some um, bus stops. I did do some traffic. Um, fixing off camera and took in those suggestions. Our traffic is moving fairly well in the city, which I'm very happy about. But I really like how this whole town came together. I loved all the suggestions that you guys had. And I think this is such a great starter town. Like I said, it's mostly a financial um, decision to do this starter town. So that way, now that we move into our first official DLC town, that we're gonna have the money to do all the cool things we wanna do. I wanna thank you all for your enthusiasm and support around this new series. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.